In today's video, we're going to be talking about discrimination in the employment law. In this video, we will explore different examples of discrimination based on their religion, disability, and other protected grounds, as well as the legal implications of such discrimination under the Ontario Human Rights Code. Let's start with an example of discrimination based on the religion. Imagine a scenario where an employee of certain faith requests a few days off to observe a religious holiday. Despite providing advance notice and offering to make up for a missed work time, the employer denies the request. This is a discrimination based on the religion because the employer is treating the employee unfavorably due to their religious beliefs. By refusing their request for religious accommodation, the employer is effectively penalizing the employee for ex exercising their right to observe their religious holidays. Discrimination against employees based on their religion undermines their fundamental right to freedom of religion, and it also can create a hostile work environment. Employers have a legal obligation to accommodate employees' religious practices. If the employer is persisting in denying the employee's request for religious accommodation, it could lead to legal consequence under the Ontario Human Rights Code. Employers should strive to accommodate employees' religious beliefs. Now let's consider discrimination based on disability. In another scenario, a job applicant with a visible physical disability applies for a position that requires frequent interaction with clients. During the interview, the applicant demonstrates strong communication skills and relevant experience, but the interviewer expresses a concern about the applicant's disability affecting their ability to perform a job effectively. As a result, the applicant is not offered the position. This is a discrimination based on disability because the employer is making an assumption about the applicant's capability to solely based on their disability without considering their qualifications, skills, or ability to perform the essential duties of the job. By denying the applicant for a job opportunity based on their disability, the employer is treating them unfavorably to, due to their disability. Discrimination against individuals based on their disability violates their right to equality and equal opportunities in employment. Employers have legal obligation to accommodate employees and job applicants with disability to the point of undue hardship, which may include making adjustments to the work environment, job duties, or hiring, hiring process to enable them to perform their work effectively. In certain situations, employer may argue that accommodating a person with disability would cause the undue hardship, such as such as if the accommodation would be excessively costly or would fundamentally alter the nature of the job. However, this requires a case-by-case -case assessment, and employers should explore all possible accommodation options before resorting to discrimination. If the employer's decision not to hire applicant is found to be discriminatory, Based on disability, it could result in legal consequences under the Ontario Human Rights Code. Employers should strive to create an inclusive and accessible workplace where individuals with disabilities are treated with dignity and respect and their abilities are valued over their limitations. Moving on, let's discuss the issue of questioning about origin before offering a job. When employer asks where candidate is from originally, before offering them a job, they violate the protected ground of discrimination based on the place of origin. Instead, the focus should be on candidates' eligibility to work in the country without considering their background of or origin. In Ontario, asking about candidates' place of origin is considered discriminatory because it can lead to biases and prejudice. The Ontario Human Rights Code prohibits discrimination if employed based on specific ground, including place of origin, to ensure fair and equal treatment for all individuals. Now let's talk about the next situation, the tattoos in the hiring process. Based on the Ontario Human Rights Code, if employer isn't hiring someone based on the tattoo, 
It's not a discrimination unless the two is related to protected ground. Employers must distinguish between genuine accommodation needs and style preference regarding tattoos. Discrimination may occur if tattoos are connected to protected ground like religion. Religious or culturally significant tattoo may require accommodation. However, if tattoos are purely personal preference, employers may establish reasonable dress codes. In conclusion, discrimination in employment based on the protected ground, such as religion, disability, or place of origin is not, it's not just morally wrong, but also illegal under entire human rights codes. Employers have responsibility to ensure fair and equal treatment for all individuals, regardless of their background or characteristics. Thank you!